Let us now look at the different categories of programming languages. You have the high level programming languages. These include programming languages such as C++, Java, Python, Perl. You know, you have a bunch of them. The problem with high level programming languages is that they are very slow. However, they have better human readability. So if you try to code in these programming languages, a user can easily understand the program. Then comes your mid-level programming languages. So there are two programming languages. One is C and the other one is assembly. So these programming languages are very fast, but it compromises on human readability. So we can say moderate human readability. Then you have the low level programming languages. And this is typically machine code. It deals with zeros and ones. Uh, low level programming languages are extremely fast because this is what your microprocessor takes in the, the zeros and the ones. The microprocessor takes in the zeros and the ones, processes it, and gives out a result, which is extremely fast. But human re uh, readability is extremely poor. So the C programming language was developed in the year 1972. Uh, it was developed by a man called Dennis Ritchie. So while he was working at the AT&T Bell Labs, that is when he came up with the language. And for the rest of the course, the C programming language will be the primary area of focus. So now let us see what happens at the back end when you want to execute programs written in C language. So you're first going to write the program. So user writes the program. You can write your program using a text editor. All you need to do is uh, save the file name with the extension .c. Now obviously, uh, the computer does not understand it. So we have another program called an assembler. The assembler takes in the .c program or the .c file and converts it into .asm file. Still the computer cannot understand it. There's another program called a compiler which takes the .asm file and converts it into a .exe file. So exe file is nothing but your executable. You must have uh, you must have come across exe files when you're trying to download some software of the internet. So that's the exe file. Now, if you try to open an exe file on, let's say, Notepad++ or Notepad, uh, it's going to be gibberish, actually. So you can try you can actually try that on your machine. So the executable file it has a bunch of zeros and ones. And the zeros and the ones, when you want to run it, you feed it to a microprocessor. And the microprocessor knows how to, how to manipulate the zeros and the ones, and it performs the computations. Uh, you will learn more about this in very detailed manner when you take the course computer organization. So 
the process of converting a user written C program to a machine code is known as compilation. And this is a very common interview question. So compilation or the function of the compiler is to basically convert user-defined code to machine code. Basically, this entire process is known as compilation.